So you might be trying to go ahead and fix your Apple Watch if for some reason it's not vibrating. So let's say you're going through when your Apple Watch is supposed to vibrate. Let's say you're wanting to go ahead and be notified wherever, whenever you get a notification, whatever the case is, right? Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure your Apple Watch is not in some like weird silent mode. So the first thing you're going to want to do here is you want to go and hop up from the bottom of your Apple Watch right here. And all you're going to want to do is to make sure that your Apple Watch isn't on silent mode. So you can see right here, one, I do have silent mode kind of enabled. So you may just want to go and toggle this off. And most of the time, if your vibration motor is not set up properly, then your Apple Watch will go ahead and vibrate if it's still in silent mode. Sometimes it won't. So keep that in mind. Another thing you may want to try doing is make sure you don't have your notifications silenced. So what you can try doing is make your way over to yours. So what you can try doing is you can make your way over to your settings application. You can go into notifications. Actually, you can go into sound. So just scroll down until you see that little display. So scroll down until you see sounds and haptics, which is right here. And what you're going to want to do here is when you have silent mode and all these other options enabled, you want to make sure you do, you do have haptic alerts enabled right here. So haptic alerts is basically that little vibration motor that you're going to be getting. So all you're going to want to do here is make sure that haptic alerts is enabled. Because if that is not enabled, then it's pretty much going to cause problems. And that's going to be the reason why you're not getting any vibration motor sensors. Now, the other thing, you can scroll down. You can also turn on system haptics. You can cover the mute if you want to. But system haptics is the other thing that basically if you're scrolling through, let's say you're turning this wheel, or let's say you're going through and doing something else, you want to make sure you have crown haptics, you want to make sure you have system haptics, all these things. You want to go ahead and make sure you have them on as you normally would, because that's basically going to be the reason why your phone's going to be able to vibrate. So that is basically how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.